guess he didn't think I could dunk either because he made a little bet with me. Thought I thought he went twenty bucks if I couldn't get a dunk on the season. So I won that. So you just got twenty dollars. Yeah. Was that NCAA volleyball? I don't think so. He made two men now. Can you talk about the balanced effort from everybody? Yeah, it was it was good tonight. I mean, we. Uh, we uh, we did good on defensive end. We did we came out good on the offensive end. Guys were passing the ball. Uh, yeah, good assist turnover ratio it was good night. You guys shot seventy percent in the first half, sixty five on the night. Uh, what can you guys do to keep that going? Is it just down low shots? Or? Yeah, we're just we're just making the extra pass. Guys are, guys are getting open looks and uh, we're hitting them. Yeah, how about you guys in transition? I mean, you guys have pretty much turned into a really dangerous transition team. Mm-hmm. Where does that originate from? Yeah, that's one thing that uh, Coach is telling Brock and our point guards that we need to push the ball off the court and uh, get easy shots, and we're doing that. Keyshawn brings the energy. He just really almost took over a game. Yeah, for sure. Keyshawn, Keyshawn's doing great. He's uh, he's coming out with a lot, a lot of energy for us, and, and he's getting those dunks, getting everybody going. He's rebounding out there. It's great. Do you feel like Keyshawn's become more comfortable or as, as comfortable as anybody this year as the season's gone on? Yeah, I think he is. I mean, he's... Uh, He's become a lot more comfortable. He's getting into his two system. He's uh, he's finding where he gets his shots, and he's doing great. The guys had a tough defensive assignment of shutting down Oliki Bay mm-hmm. on top black score. Can you just talk about that tonight? Yeah, he was uh, he's a really good player. I mean, he's a great shooter. He gets to the basket, and we just uh, we had no help responsibilities on him, so we just we just stayed there and we did a good job. Uh, that play with one second left on the shot clock, and Bruno got the, the jumping shot. Was that planned, or did that just happen that way? Um, it wasn't planned to go to Bruno, but I mean, it, it ended up working out, so it was great. How difficult is Nevada going to be on Saturday? Oh, they're going to be great. I mean, they, they returned a lot of guys from last year, so they'll be really experienced. They'll be, they'll be big, and they'll be willing to come in here and beat us. Talk about the, uh, the just the confidence level and the momentum you guys are riding right now. It's you know obviously a completely different uh, mentality. It seems like on the court than earlier in the season. Yeah, yeah we're uh, we're getting confidence as a as a team. We're uh, we're meshing a lot better. We're uh, finding the open guys and we're doing great. Thirty three straight conference wins now. Talk about uh, defending the home court in the conference and, and like you mentioned, Nevada's going to be a tough opponent. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you guys to, to keep that? Yeah, I mean uh, we always want to come out on our home court and. And win the game, obviously. We come out, fight hard, and uh, bring a lot of energy, and we should do good Saturday. Coach Morrill talked earlier in the year about not having that go to guy like a Jason Carroll, but you seem to kind of start to prove that. Mm-hmm. Just what's kind of your response to that in comparison to your play in the last yeah. few games? Yeah, I've been, I've, been, uh, I've been doing pretty good. I mean, I've been hitting some open shots that guys are getting me, getting me open, They're sending me good screens. Coaches, coaches run some good sets that are getting me open, and I'm making some shots.